directly, it should crunch. <laughs> Never seen such a beautiful shape like that. There are bigger ones, but this is a nice one. Welcome back. Bem-vindo. Yeah, today we are up in the high 30s, almost 40 again. So we're going to be making a nice simple summer dish. Yes. So we going shopping. Yeah, we're going to go get a few fresh ingredients for the accompanying dishes. Yes. Yeah, let's go. So we're just coming up to the cabbage patch, the main cabbage patch should I say. We did harvest the purple or red one yesterday. Uh, we're just getting a green one for the one salad Natalia's gonna make. That one looking good? Okay. Gonna get some parsley too. We have got growing in the greenhouse, but I've been taking from them all the time. So give them a little bit of a break. We had a couple of bushes growing outside. So here's some of them. Should be it enough, I think. Yeah. Cool. So a uh, quick update on our patio build. Yeah, we made some progress. Uh, two pillars are basically done. That one just needs a, about a five centimeter but on the top for the beam to make it level. Uh, then this one needs just less than a block on top of it. And then this one needs probably two or three courses. It's taking it shape. Yeah, getting there. Yeah, hopefully the roofing won't take too long to arrive. Yeah, we've been to order it in Castello Branco. So um, yeah, hopefully it should be within the next couple of weeks, yes. would be good. Couple of days, even better. That would be even better. <laughs> Yes, I'm hoping. Not, not holding my breath. <laughs> so this is becoming an almost twice a week occurrence, harvesting cucumbers. Mm -hmm. From the beginning thinking, are we going to get any cucumbers off this plant? To now, um, can you just slow down a little bit? Yeah, <laughs> just so we can keep up. <laughs> See, some more here too. Slowly, Natalia, I'm going to be making pickles for days. <laughs> what do you guys reckon? Is that enough for a salad? Jeez. Mm. So, the first part of today's dish is a baked courgette salad, uh, which works well cold or hot. We're having ours cold, so we're going to do the baked part first. Then it comes with a little dressing that goes with it that goes on once it's cooled down if you have it cool so we're going to get started on that we've got these two beautiful courgettes that we've got from friends uh, a yellow one and then the green one so we're just going to start by chopping can you just up. hold this courgette yeah that's um, so a, that people can see how <laughs> big it is it's quite a nice one <laughs> <laughs> never seen such a big courgette yeah. like there that are bigger before. ones but this is a nice one for us yeah yeah so we're just going to start by chopping them up Sort of just into nice bite-sized pieces and then we're going to put these into our roast, roasting pan not a roasting pan <laughs> a roasting pan and then just continue to chop the rest of them so with this richness of harvest that we have from our kinta and from our friends um, we have we're constantly having to think of different ways to cook them because otherwise if in courgette season all you're going to be having is roasted courgette all the time so uh, yeah it's nice to come up with with new dishes um, and to try different things that mm -hmm. friends of ours have that have grown courgette for years have told us about so yeah we're learning as we go too and enjoying every minute of it 
yellow one. First time I've seen a yellow one before. Beautiful color. It is. We're gonna try to save some of these seeds so we can grow these ourselves next season. Should be a couple in there that we can use. So we've got those all cubed up nicely uh, in our roasting pan. We're just going to add our herbs of Provence. Sprinkle some of that over and then just give it a nice mix through. And then we're going to dust it with a little bit of flour. So I think that was in all probably about a tablespoon of flour just to get all nicely coated and then we've got four cloves of garlic um, which I'm just going to put off to the side there because they are going to roast and that's going to be part of the dressing for the salad so I'm going to let them roast in the corner there and then once that is all coated with oil I'm just going to with the flour sorry I'm going to just add a generous amount of olive oil Then we're just going to take the baking tray with the courgettes. We're going to pop it in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes, Natalia. Yeah. Um, and then once that's done, we're going to take the garlic out. We're going to let the courgettes cool. And then we'll get started on the sauce once that's done. Sounds good. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, I really enjoy salads and um, this cabbage salad is a favorite of mine and it definitely gets a gosh little gusta from me. So let's start. So we're going to start with the red cabbage. Basically just going to slice it up or shred it. Almost like making a coleslaw. That's it. Oh, okay, cool. Right, then this all goes into the bowl. Just shred it. Beautiful color. Indeed. Onto the green cabbage. So same thing. I'm gonna shred it real fine. Same thing with the apples. So you can use any apple. Um, I prefer the red one because it's a bit sweeter. So now onto the onion. For me it's all about the sweetness. Again, a red onion. One of our own that we harvested a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Hmm. What, did I what did I tell you about this bowl, Natalia? Yes, you did tell me. Hmm. Luckily, I, luckily I know you. <laughs> so tell all the lovely people why you're making so much of the salad when there are only two of us. So this um, salad really keeps well in the fridge. I would say up to four or five days. Um, and it's really good. I mean, um, it looks a lot. But, um, because it, it is a lot. It is a lot, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it goes really quickly. It's really a good salad. So guess what I'll be eating for the next four <laughs> to five days. Right. 
Are you going to transfer it to an appropriately sized bowl? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So don't be shy to use your hands. Just mix everything through. That's why we have them after all. Yeah. So in this weather, one doesn't want to spend too long cooking. So that's why we're making lots of salad for the week. For the dressing, we have olive oil. I would say about two tablespoons. We have apple cider vinegar. About two tablespoons. Does that look like two tablespoons? It looks like a big tablespoon. Yeah. <laughs> a serving spoon. <laughs> <laughs> and then some lemon juice. So regarding the olive oil and the um, vinegar, you use the same uh, ratio. A one to one equal one parts. One to one equal parts, cool. yeah. And then black pepper and some salt. Just for taste. And then again, just give it a good mix. Hmm, smells so good. I love coleslaw, love the mayo dressing, but this is yeah. Sometimes one of the other mayo so dressings is nice. Yeah. yeah. So there we have our cabbage salad. We're gonna pop this into the refrigerator for about a half an hour. Um, again, like I said, um, the salad is really good the following day. So give it a go. Yeah, the marinade works very nicely. Yeah, it pulls into everything. Does. Yeah. It definitely does. So we're back to make the main part of the lunch. Uh, we're doing some fried fish fillets. We've got rubalo, which is sea bass, um, which they cut some nice fillets for us. Nice and thin, so they go, should go nice and quickly. So what we're gonna make is we're gonna make a quick beer batter. Mm -hmm. So we've got here a quarter cup of corn flour just to make nice and crisp. Got three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, which is self-raising because if it's not self-raising, you just add a, te a teaspoon of baking powder too. It just helps um, the dough to rise nicely too. Uh, the batter, should I say, sorry. So we're just gonna give that a nice mix through. And then we're gonna add, I've got a mixture of onion powder, garlic powder, and some salt. Um, I think that should be good. Three teaspoons. Got a nice. You don't have to add that. You can do just salt. And then we're going to add one cup or 250 mils of beer. It must be nice and cold. If you want um, a non-alcoholic version, soda water also works very nicely for this to give it the fizz. And then we're just going to give it a quick whisk. You don't want to over 
work it. You don't want to develop any glutens to make it all chewy. That one must, must be nice and crisp. So we just make sure that our piece of fish is patted dry. And then we've got another about a quarter cup of corn flour. Mazina. Or corn starch is the other name I know is used for it. I'm just going to give that a nice dredge. Just pat off any excess. And happily we're cooking outside so Natalia can't shout about the mess. <laughs> and then we're going to dip that in our batter. Let any extra just drip off. Mm, that smells good. And then after about two minutes, we can give these a flip. Oh, that's looking nice. And let them go for probably just another minute. Side. And after about another minute on that side, oh, that's looking good. Take that off. My little wire rack just to get rid of the excess oil. Lovely. Good. Oh, that one looks great. I think this one's going to be Natalia's one. Mm -hmm. The crispy bits. We have a winner. Natalia. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to me, Steves? <laughs> <laughs> so let's plate up for you, lovely viewers. Natalia's piece of fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> Some of our lovely cabbage salad and a little bit of this roasted courgette salad, which looks amazing. And then let's just give it a little squeeze of lemon juice. And let's add a little bit of color with that parsley that we harvested earlier this morning. Oh. If we've done this correctly, it should crunch. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see. Mm, and it smells so good. Let's see how Natalia's piece of fish tastes. <laughs> I can oh, hear you yes. crunching. Mm, <laughs> that's very good. Mm. So good? Yeah, and Robaldo is also very nice grilled. Head on, that's how they usually do it in the restaurants, grilled. And good it's, piece it's of amazing, fish. Yeah. yeah. Very nice, good, nice piece of fish. Yeah. Let's see what Natalia thinks. Good. <laughs> You had a bit of everything now, the fish with all the salads. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Mm. I'll have to do that. Good. The fish is so good. Wow. Well done, Steve. Cool. Everything today gets a gosh to the gosh The, the salads. The cabbage yeah. salad looks amazing. Yeah, yeah I'm going to It's really now. good. Nice and crunchy, sweet. Again, simple ingredients. Mm. So tasty. So give it a go. Cool. I On think that it gets note, a. Yes, it definitely gets a thumbs up. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed today's show. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us again. <laughs> Thanks for all the likes and the comments and for subscribing to our channel if yeah. you like what you see. Yeah, and don't forget to ring the notification bell too so that you get uh, they let you know when uh, another video is up. That's it. Yeah. So until next time. See you later. Ciao zingo. Ciao. Bye.